Malaria was effectively wiped out in this country more than 50 years ago, but it still kills 3,000 children every day in Africa. You saw the difference that relief efforts are making on Idle Gives Back just a few weeks ago. Simple bed nets can help protect at-risk children, and there are effective drug treatments. But much more is still needed to combat the problem. Joining us now, a very familiar face to American Idol viewers, Melinda Doolittle, was, of course, a finalist last year. She also has been to Africa with First Lady Laura Bush to see firsthand the devastation of malaria. We're also pleased to have with us Peter Chernin, President and Chief Operating Officer of News Corp, the parent company of Fox 5, by the way. And he is Chairman of the Board of Malaria No More. They're both in town for a malaria awareness campaign. Good morning to you both. Good morning. Good morning. So you had a chance to go to Africa and meet the First Lady. Tell me what that was like. I did. You know, it was an amazing experience because of American Idol and Idol Gives Back. Um, I think $17 million was given to malaria-related causes. So I got to go to Zambia and be a part of handing out the over 1 million bed nets that were given in that area. So it was a really Really, really amazing trip. Um, I got to sing with an African children's choir that learned English just to sing Amazing Grace. And, and Peter, this this must be a, a matter of money really makes a difference in, uh, there for these people. Look, I think of almost any cause in life right now, money can have more of an impact on malaria than virtually any other cause. This is a disease that we could eradicate, arguably the worst disease on earth right now, largest killer of children. And with the right amount of money sent to procure bed nets and medications, this is a disease that we could end and save millions of children's lives. And in fact, there has been progress made already, people, uh, lives saved. Well, enormous progress made over the past year. You know, certain countries, Rwanda, Ethiopia, more than 50% reductions in death. And I think we're beginning to see this cause take, take hold in America. I think certainly the generosity of Fox viewers on Idol gives back last year and again this year. We're seeing money start to come in and get to, to buy bed nets that Melinda talked about. So today you're going up to Capitol Hill, Melinda. Um, is this your first time on Capitol Hill in this kind of event? It really is. And I'm, I'm very excited <coughs> because it's a huge opportunity to just get awareness out there. Because I really believe, I believe that people, if they are educated about something and find out how devastating malaria can be in a country, that, that people will give whatever they have to make a difference. What struck you when you did go to Zambia? The thing that struck me the most is that um, I went to a church there. There were these wonderful children there, and I sat down in front of them, and I asked them, how many of you have been affected by malaria? How many of you have had malaria somewhere in your house? And just about every single child raised their hand. And wow. I was like, okay, now what can we do? This is something that can be eradicated in our lifetime. And that is exciting to me. So it's something just as easy as giving $10 for a bed net. So anything that we can do to help out, I love that. So I'm, I'm just really passionate about trying to educate as much as possible. And Peter, this is uh, part of the Idol Gives Back program. Yeah, well, I think Idol Gives Back, which, which you know, we're so proud of on Fox, what we've been able to achieve. One of our key causes, certainly we've been focused on African health issues as sort of half of it, half the issues in the U.S. And among the African health issues, clearly the one that's in the forefront is malaria. And so we're, we're really thrilled with the public response that we've gotten over the last two years. Yeah, and, and a lot of money. What, what kind of targets do you have now as far as raising money? What would you like people to do? If somebody's watching right now, what can they do to help? Well, they could go to the malarianomore.org website. And $10 buys a bed net. You can put a mother and a child, two children, save a life for yeah, you've, each $10. You've said the, it, it equates out to a bed net saves a life. Right, right. You know, if you think about sort of all the causes in American life where you hope to move the needle a little bit, this is a cause, the largest killer of children in Africa, that we could end within four or five years if we get the right kind of public support. Well, Melinda, you're working on these good programs, and I know a lot of folks want to know, what are you doing as far as music is concerned? <coughs> Um, I am working on an album right now. We're working as fast as humanly possible, yeah. trying to get it out this summer. And I'm having a great time with that. What so kind of music is it? It is um, old school meets the new school with a little bit of grit. That's the best All right. way to that describe good. it, I think. <laughs> <laughs> so. and, and I didn't know this because I had never talked to you in person before, but your voice, just speaking, is great, too. Oh, thank <laughs> you. Have you have a great singing voice, obviously, but you have such a full voice. Thank uh, you Even so just much. talking. And, and it comes out when, you hope? It will come out this summer. Okay. So we're working as hard we as possible. We will be looking for it, and we hope to have you back here at that time so that you can promote it and uh, we can talk once again. Thank and you. And, Peter, thank you so much for being with us. Thanks very much. Malaria no more. Great cause. Thank you. Allison, back to you.
All right. Thanks so much. You can. That you can find out more information about Malaria No More by heading to our webpage or their webpage. And we put a link to their webpage on our website at myfoxdc.com.